Hi everyone, welcome back to Lair Academy. In this video, we're going to be going over a simplistic role system. Our role system will contain four different roles. We will have an administration role, a subscriber, a member, and finally, a guest role. Now, the difference between a subscriber and a member is the user has subscribed to a service that you're offering by either paying or you gave them an account. And now there's also a lot of role packages out there, and in the future, I do plan on covering a few. There's also different techniques that we can use, but right now, let's just keep it simple. The first thing we're going to write is a database migration. So let's open our terminal and write php artisan make migration. And we're going to be altering the user table here, and we want to add roles to this table. We'll make sure to fill in the table flag. Now let's open up our migration underneath database and migrations. You can see the new migration here and within the up function we're going to add two fields. We are going to add a field which is a boolean for our subscriber. We'll make the default false and we want to make it after the field password. So we'll have that in there as well. The second field will be a boolean as well, and it is going to be used for administrator. Once again, we'll have a default value of false, and this time let's put it after the field we just created. Now that we have our up function, let's also add in our down function where we will drop the column subscriber, and we're also going to drop the column administrator. Perfect. Now let's load up our terminal again and let's run PHP Artisan Migrate so we can migrate our database. This is my first time migrating the database so I can see that I have our users, passwords, and we also have the alter user table. All right, we're getting there. We're gonna have to update our users model to add these fields so that they can be fillable. Within user.php in the protected fillable, let's add in subscriber and administrator. Since these fields in our database are booleans, let's also add a protected casts variable in here to cast these two fields as a boolean value instead of 0 and 1. We'll say the subscriber is a boolean and also the administrator is a boolean value. So once again, Laravel will automatically convert the zeros and ones into true and false for us. Now in the background I have a database seeder and we'll take a look at it where we're just creating a member, we're creating a subscriber, and finally an administrator. And all we're doing is setting the certain flags to true or false depending on the member's status. I'll run my PHP Artisan DB seed so that I can seed the database with these three users. And we're almost done with the setup here. The one thing I also want to take a look at is inside our routes and web.php. I have a couple different routes, a guest, member, subscriber, administrator, and then finally I have a login route and a log out route. So these four routes right here are the ones we're going to be modifying. If we take a look at them and we do slash guest, you can see we have the guest controller, the member controller, the subscriber controller, and finally, the administrator controller. Now, one thing that's not right is we're currently not logged in. However, we can access all these routes. We're gonna be using middleware to control our access into these routes. And thankfully, Laravel automatically comes with one of these built in. We can use, for any of these routes, we can say that the user must be logged in. To do this, all we have to do is add a middleware onto our route and the middleware that we're going to specify is called auth. Once again, this is a middleware that is brought in by default. And what it allows us to do is check to see if the user is logged in. You can see we have a route not defined login, but that's just because we're not logged in and it's trying to kick us out into the login. So what this means is our route member, we're actually going to have to be logged in. If we take a look at our kernel and we scroll down to the bottom, you can see we have auth here. And we could open up this Authenticate class if you wanted to read more, 
but just take my word for it. Basically, it just means that the user has to be logged in. Now, if we actually want to try this member route out, we can switch over to Chrome and we can say login as the user1, which is our member user. And now if we try the route member, you can see that we have successfully got that message. However, we can also access the subscriber route, and that's not right because our member isn't subscribed to our service. We're going to write a custom middleware to handle this for us. So we'll do php artisan make middleware, and we're going to call this middleware subscriber only. Once our middleware has been created, if we switch back to Sublime, we can find it underneath middleware and subscriber only. By default, all of the middlewares have a function called handle, and this is where we can add the logic whether or not to accept the request or deny it. We'll start off by declaring a variable called isSubscriber, and this is just a true or false value to tell us whether or not the user has subscribed. We're going to have to first check to see that the user is logged in, and we can say auth check, and that will return true or false whether the user has logged in. Next, with the current user that's logged in, we're just going to check the subscriber value to see if it's true or false. If the subscriber value is true, we can just set our variable is subscribed or is subscriber to true. At the very end, we can easily deny or accept the request. We could say if we are not a subscriber, so is not subscriber, then let's just redirect them back to the home page. And we can do this by a return, redirect, and let's just add in the slash to go back to the end. If they are a subscriber, we'll let the request go through. Now before we use this middleware, we're going to have to let Laravel know that it exists. Inside the kernel.php at the bottom, underneath the route middleware, we're going to add a new item to the array. You can call it whatever you want, and in my case, I'm just going to call it subscriber. And next we need to reference our class. So in my case, if I take a look at my file subscriber only, you can see the namespace app HTTP middleware. So I'll just copy and paste that in and finish it off with my subscriber only class. We can take the key subscriber and switch over to web.php and we can add this middleware onto our subscriber route. If we switch over to Chrome and we're going to refresh our route here, you can see that we currently have an error. The class app HTTP app HTTP middleware subscriber only does not exist. So if we switch over to our kernel, I've just missed a backslash at the front here. Once again, let's fix that. Let's switch back over to Chrome and go to refresh. You can see that we're redirected back to the home page, and that's because we're using a member login. So when we try to do a subscriber, we're kicked out automatically. So let's log out and let's log back in, but let's log in as a subscriber. Now, because we are logged in, we can access the member route and we're also a subscriber, so we can access the subscriber route. Now, what if we try to access the administrator route? Well, currently, we have access to that, but we can easily fix this by making a new middleware. Now, we're going to follow the same steps as before, but things will be just a tiny bit different. Just like last time, let's load up our terminal, and we'll do php artisan make middleware, and this time, let's call it administrator only. Once our file has been created, you can see it happens in the middleware. So let's copy what we have for our subscriber only and paste it into the administrator only function. Now, because we're using Boolean values, we can easily check to see if the user is an administrator. So if they are an administrator, we can just change these is subscriber to say is administrator, and that will let our user in. So just like before, we check the user's administrator flag and if they are an administrator, we let them in. Otherwise, we redirect them back to the home page. Now, we're going to have to add this into our kernel. So we can copy and paste the subscriber. And this time, I'm going to call it administrator and reference the administrator only class. Now, just like before, we can switch over to our web.php and we can add a middleware onto our administrator route and just call it administrator. Now if we switch over to Chrome and we try the administrator route again, we're redirected back to the home page. 
So let's log out of this user. Once I hit log out correctly, there we go. And let's log in as the administrator, which is user three for me. Now we can try the different routes. So if we try the administrator route, we get in just fine. Well, let's try another route. Let's say we try the member route. Because we're logged in, of course that works. But if we try the subscriber route, you can see we're redirected. Well, that's because in our code, we're not checking for administrator, we're checking for subscriber. The extremely easy fix for this is in our subscriber only class. After we check to see if the user is a subscriber, let's also check to see if the user is an administrator. So if the user is a subscriber or the user is an administrator, we're going to set that value to true. If we save it and come back, we can check our member, we can check our guest, we can also access subscriber. Hmm, seems to be a little bit of an error there. So let's switch back here and I misspelled administrator. So let's save this once again and let's try it. So let's log out and let's log back in and let's log in as the administrator and give it one more try. And guest, we're good. Let's try the member, good again. Subscriber, and we are in, and finally administrator. And now we're into all four of our different routes. So hopefully you can see that we have a simplistic role system working with just a little bit of work. One of the other things I wanna point out is this middleware functionality. We can have a group, let's take for instance an administration group, Actually, let's route this below so we can see it in action. So we have a route group, and we're going to prefix it. So that means in the URL, we're going to look for the word administration. And within this prefix, we're going to have a bunch of different routes. Let's just create our first route here. We'll have a default route, and it's just going to return a function, and we're just going to return a string administration home. Now we'll clean this up by adding the missing brackets and semicolons. And the nice thing about this middleware here is we could append this onto the entire group. So we can do it in the array here. We could just say middleware and the middleware that we want to reference is administrator. So this entire administration URL is protected by the administrator middleware. So we're going to have to be an administrator to use this. So if we log out, and then we try to access that again, it's going to automatically kick us out. And with that, we have a simplistic role system in place and working 100%. I hope you learned a thing or two, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.